I came as soon as I could. Is everything all right? The question I should be asking. Wouldn't you say? David, I have every intention of remaining courteous and civil, and I truly apologize for how things have transpired. Apologize? An apology is built on the acknowledgement of a mistake. Is that what everything's become? A mistake? You ask me to say things I know will hurt you. You've already hurt me, Rose. I know. And I'm sure you know it was never my intention to do so, but it was unavoidable. As is the pain I feel now. What is that pain? Where does it come from? You know where it comes from. It comes from the emptiness left behind. It still begs to be filled. I don't feel this is appropriate. No. No, it would be inappropriate, wouldn't it? Far more befitting of a lady to submit to the empty desires of a loveless marriage. You choose to insult me. Does your mocking me alleviate any of the pain that you feel? If I apologize, would it lessen any of the guilt you feel? Nothing you can say will take away the guilt that I feel. And if I have to carry it with me for the rest of my life, then I will. I still see in your eyes what I've seen before. Why do you deny what you really feel? I do not deny anything. I have chosen to be true to my word and the promise that I made, Edward. And in time, I hope that we can rediscover some sort of friendship. One that can exist in the transparency that any acceptable relationship should. Acceptable? Yes. You're not fooling anyone, Rose. Certainly not yourself. You see the happiness I offer you. It'll always be there. Wondering why it was set aside. One day, you'll wonder too.